Some people who have a developmental disability can experience difficulties when accessing services in the community. Their disability can mean that they don't always interact with other people in the way that may be expected. For example, they may need more time to be able to answer a question. Having a disability may not be obvious to other people, but it can affect the interaction and hinder a successful outcome. This video features five adults who have a developmental disability. They have drawn on their experiences to share some thoughts and advice. These experiences tell us how to recognize certain situations and how to support the other person so that the outcome is a success. What is a developmental disability? A person with a developmental disability has significant limitations to thinking and or reasoning abilities, otherwise known as cognitive functioning, and daily living skills, otherwise known as adaptive functioning. Those limitations were present before a person turned 18. These limitations are likely to be lifelong in nature and affect areas of major life activity such as personal care, language skills, and learning abilities. Let's hear how someone with a developmental disability would describe it. I would describe it as someone who is struggling with stuff in the world, like doesn't, has different issues to deal with, has stress to deal with and anxiety and going out in the world and being social with someone who doesn't understand what a disability is and trying to get them to understand can be hard to do. And it's probably the biggest challenge that someone can have. For me, it's just, it's kind of like, I need stuff explained sometimes a little bit, like I need stuff more in plain language. I need, I need to be able to like, it's hard for me to write sometimes. It's easier for me to use a computer as opposed to, as opposed to like, I feel relatively normal most of the time. Things you are better at, but some things, it's basically you falling down the stairs a bunch of times in your head. Like when I don't understand like feelings or moods or like I have trouble with my feelings, the hands for real start spinning. So the hands for real start spinning because I think, think too many things at once. For those who live with a developmental disability, difficulties related to communication, learning, self-help or problem solving, and independent living skills are common. This can result in strained or tense interactions with others, including those providing supports and services. When a developmental disability is hard to recognize, the person might seem abrupt or angry. Based on the context, it may be the only way a person can communicate their dissatisfaction or frustration. We asked people what it is like when they try to access services. I need help. I need. Uh, that I have troubles uh, either communicating properly or get stuck on a couple of stuff. Okay. And I might need constant, like, uh, help yeah i think i think i've been told that i'm a little bit blunt but you know sometimes being blunt and honest for me is a whole lot easier than you know not saying anything and try and remain calm but like i said there's always going to be in the world who who don't like you know who think they know better for you or who think that you know who think they have um uh, who think they have the like the right to take over for you or whatever it is sometimes that i don't understand it makes me feel nervous and it makes me feel kind of not happy. <laughs> Living with a disability can be challenging. You can help by recognizing that a person might have a disability and you can assist that person to navigate the system you work in. We asked people what they thought would be helpful for you to know. I've asked for help before and basically the person has basically showed me how to do something properly and then I would go ahead and do it and would be able to do it perfectly 100% so they were able to walk me through it step by step. 
sometimes it just takes extra time, but we'll get our stuff done. And for me, if I'm getting frustrated, I say, give me a couple minutes to calm myself or whatever, and then come back to me. I want them to be able to respond clearly. Well, they can treat them respectfully means being kind, able to take time to talk to me. People don't treat me well, so, and, and make me feel much better. We asked people what they would like you to remember. Just an understanding and basically just give them a better understanding of what someone with autism goes through and to help them out and if they ask for help to give it to them. Basically the biggest thing is people need is understanding. So because I've always been taught you treat people the way you want to be treated. You'd want the person to um you'd want the person to, to treat you with as much respect as you as they would want to be treated. And just take that time to get to know somebody even if it's going to take a little bit longer. We are all striving to achieve greater inclusion for everyone. As we work towards this goal, we hope that the messages we have just heard will help us to recognize that we all have diverse strengths and different needs. Sometimes just a small adjustment to the way we provide a service can make all the difference to the success of the outcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, probably to help uh, other people that have autism or any disorder, and don't look after them because you, you, you might not know what you're gonna get. Like, always something good. Like, a thing in return.